make it real quick I asked my daughter if the battery was charged on this thing and she said yes and now I'm getting ready to tape and it's not charged okay hey guys <laughs> this is video take two this is just like a quick little drop in just to share with you guys a few things that I'm using now or a few snacks or just a couple of things I picked up. I have been consciously trying to eat better. <laughs> and I know I've shared this with you guys before. So I've been doing the no meat thing since September of 2020. And so it's coming along, but I find that I'm snacking more. I love dried mangoes. And so I've tried a few different ones. Usually the Harris tea, the one that I like, or the one that I get from Harris Teeter, which is a supermarket here, um, is the one I usually get on the weekends when I do my grocery shopping. But at the Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, I find a brand that I try. And so I actually went to, was it Home Goods or TJ? TJ Maxx. And I found one that I loved. So I'm gonna share that with you. So that's the Great Lakes International Trading Inc., I guess. And it's some mango, sweet, premium dried fruit. Dried mangoes, I suggest you try. So, also from TJ Maxx, um, I've been looking for a conditioner to use, and I came across this one, which I love. It was $14.99 for a 25 fluid ounce. I used it once last weekend, and I liked it. So I went back and I got another bottle because now, I'm not sure if I shared with you, I went ahead, my daughter decided she wanted to comb her locks out. So we went ahead and we did that. And so now it's two of us in the house that's using these products. So I figured I'll get the big bottle and, if, and go back and get another one. Because conditioner is something that I use a lot. Went to the mall last, was it last Friday? Mm-hmm, last Friday. And I like Burlington. I go into Burlington whenever I go to that mall. And um, so I walked in and I said, you know, let me go to the shoe section. Cause usually once the weather changes, I tend to get a few sandals or whatever it is. So walked over there and these caught my eye. Um, I love the color. Um, I love the, the white of the bottom. And I also like the thickness of the bottom. So it's not just a basic little slip on with the flat soles, not much support. This has support. And they went expensive, um, $16.99. So if you are interested in probably getting these, they're Burlington, I'm not sure if they're in every Burlington, but the one by me here has them. And I like these. And normally I wear eight and a half, and surprisingly, the eight fit. Because my feet are very narrow, and so with the sandals, um, I needed not the length, but the, the more snug fit of the shoe. And so the eights fit just fine, and my feet aren't hanging off or anything like that. So that's great. These are the other ones that I got. Um, I lotioned myself the other day, and I got some lotion on them. And if you can guess how much these are, <laughs> I would be impressed with you. Because these are cheaper than the other ones I just showed you. These were eight bucks, eight dollars. I wore these already, so. And you know, you can wear these with anything. Capris, um, dresses, shorts, whatever. And the color is nice too, so I didn't have anything in this color. So I went ahead and got this color and they're very comfy. I wore them already to work. And they were only eight bucks. I've never been a, you know, I, I don't use a lot of stuff on my face. I used to just basically wash and moisturize, but I'm not 15 anymore. So um, I know this, I mean, other people may not notice it, but I notice under my eyes 
they just seem, I don't know, tired and maybe I do have some discoloration under my eyes. So I do use a, um, a, what do you call it? Concealer under my eye. And I have it on today. Um, but I found this and I'm going to tell you where I got it from. <laughs> TikTok made me get it. Um, it's just a moisturizer for under the eye. And so far so good. I like it, you know, um, so that's the one area on my face that I'm concerned about is pretty much under my eye. So if you're looking for something to moisturize under your eye, I suggest this. It's a deep hydrating um, kind of lotion, eye serum. I also wasn't a makeup wearer. <laughs> I'm not wearing it today though. So I'm surfing through, you know, social media, whatever it is. And they just know how to hit you with the little advertisements or whatever. So. I said, let me try it. So, I'm sure you've seen it as well. Ask you a few questions. Um, you ask, you fill it out, and they send you a shade that they feel will work best for you. And I'm telling you, I was so impressed. I would have never thought that they would get it right without seeing your skin or whatever it is. As long as you ask the questions honestly, you shouldn't have a problem. So, that is basically something new that I'm using on my face that I like. Um, my daughter loves it, my sister, you know, cause when I put it on, I wanted them to look at it and let me know, does it look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup? Or does it look like I'm wearing something but it's not so obvious, you know, so heavy looking. And this is perfect. And I use just like a little makeup sponge and I kind of put it on. And it comes out pretty nice and even, matches my skin tone. You can't really tell. Um, and that, that's what I like. I want something that looks like I'm not wearing anything or just looks like my face is awake. You know, this brightens me up a little bit. And I love it. This time of year, basically with the whole COVID and whatever it is, you're washing your hands more than usual. And I personally, I can't wear my rings because I washed my hands so often at work or sanitized so often at work the sanitizer get onto my ring and I think it just irritates my skin and so my skin was kind of peeling and raw and so I haven't worn them I've taken them off and I haven't worn them in a while once in a while I may put them on and then take them off but um, I found a hand cream that I love that um, it's for very dry skin and it's the Eucerin I've always um, known about Eucerin because my son used to have eczema um it was subtle it wasn't bad um but he would have little patches that would break out on his skin and um i used the one in a jar with a blue top so this is a i washed my hands when i just came in from work and um i'm supposed to be getting a call for them to check my internet i left my phone downstairs but anyway so just put a little bit on <clears throat> and rub it in and it actually coats your hand, it coats it. So what I try to do is, I try the lotion before I go to bed at night. And then that way it sits on my hand all day. And then when I get up in the morning, after you know I've done everything in the bathroom or whatever it is, and then I put some on. And it actually, your hands look very moisturized. They feel moisturized. It's not like you put it on and you don't feel a difference. This actually works. Last thing that I have to share with you, is I bought this from Amazon. Um, so it's been in my bathroom because I've been using. So I have contacts in today. It's a trial period. I'm trying to find something that really works for me. This is the second pair. Um, I've noticed over the past four or five months, my eye has gotten to the point where I can't see the, st the strength in each of my eye is so off basically this one is extremely nearsighted this one is extremely farsighted this one has astigmatism so the combination of trying to you know look with both and they being so off have given me some issues with my eyes lately so that's why i'm wearing contacts now at first when i bought this i had my nails on and so i it was hard because my nails were pretty it wasn't long but they were pretty pretty long a good length and it was hard to put your hand in your eye to take them out and whatever it is. So I cut them down. That didn't work. And then honestly, 
over the quarantine time, I realized I really don't need the nails. <laughs> and I saved money from not putting them on. And also, I think I started drinking coffee once a day. Once in the morning, I would drink coffee. And basically, that replaced my nail expense. So I bought a really good Nespresso machine. Ugh, I've never in my entire life had such good coffee. And I was never, I'm a tea drinker, but I do both now equally, I would say. More coffee than tea, actually. Winter time, I'll do tea in the afternoon and the evening when I get home. And, and in, in the morning time, I'll do my coffee. So I do drink more coffee now than I do tea, because I may not have tea every night. So I went ahead and I invested in, a, in the Spurs machine. I love it. I love it. The, the smoothness of the coffee, the flavor. It, I don't, it's, if you drink coffee, I think you need to invest in one of these machines because it's going to be worth it. And you're going to get your money back because you're not going to Starbucks. You're not spending money outside to make your coffee. You're doing everything there in your home. And I've saved money doing that. So Starbucks is something I don't do that much anymore. My daughter does. But if you drink coffee, please try it. Try it and tell me what you think because you're not going to go back. The coffee that you buy from Starbucks is not the same. It's not good quality coffee. I mean, I don't knock Starbucks. What I like about them are their, their fruity drinks um, and their cold drinks, coffee flavored drinks. But a nice cup of coffee cannot be replaced by any other machine. I have the Keurig. I use my Keurig for my tea. I get my hot water from the Keurig. I get my coffee from the Nespresso. Keurig, I used that before the Nespresso and I thought that was great coffee until I got the Nespresso. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Try it. But anyway, I got off, off the subject. Well, basically, because I no longer wear the nails, I was able to get my Nespresso, and that's where I now spend my money is on my coffee pots. These, I got this, I got this originally because I had my nails on, and when I had to take up my contacts, it would be an issue. So, this is great. It may be a little dirty on the inside. Okay, you're gonna see the outside now. <laughs> So basically, it comes with the container to put them in, and it's labeled left and right. And then it has this little container here that also have something in it to assist you to take them out. Um, I guess this would help you to put them on, like if you're having an issue, you put the contact on top and then you put them in your eye. And then the other one, which is this one here, would help you take it out. I haven't perfected it. I, just, I it's still creepy for me to put something on my eyeball to take it out. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my eyeball, but it's there if I need it. But since I cut my nails down, it's a little easier for me to kind of like pull it to the side and kind of just take them out. But if you wear contacts, I suggest that you try it. It's called, what's it called? It's all rubbed off now because I've had it for quite some months. So just press the button and it opens up. And it sits in there and so that sits on my sink with my contacts and these are great little you know little things that help to make your life a little better a little easier so that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today it's really quick um, I also put some plants in my backyard my daughter's gonna kind of edit that stuff all in for me but I just want to come on in and say hello and um, touch base with you guys I appreciate you guys um, subscribing, being there. I guess I have six. <laughs> My six subscribers. So I enjoy the six that I have. And anybody who wants to come on over, feel free to come on over. All right? Talk to you guys later. Bye.